pretty personal connection, you know. I've been playing the Divinity games from the very, very beginning in 2002. I believe 2002 was the first game in the series, was published, Divine Divinity. And um, ever since I played the first Divinity game, I never ever stopped. I, f I fell in love and I basically played all the, all, the, all the installments in the series up until the moment I had a chance to get in touch with the guys from Larian Studios and from our director Sven Vinke, who gave me the chance to, to become part of the family. Because for me this is a family. When we were discussing the music system with uh, our director Sven Vinke, I wanted to come up with something really brave, something really inventive, because Larian in the first place, we are known for being brave and innovative. I hope you, you, you'd agree. Yes. <laughs> so it was only fair for me to keep the music on the safe level. And since we were discussing how we were going to develop our own brand new adaptive and dynamic music system, I wanted to come with something really innovative, something that was new. And uh, as I shared during the lecture, I came with this idea because I wanted to give a chance to the players not only to customize their characters right at the beginning of the game, but also give them a chance to somehow customize their music. Hence the idea about having a choice of four different instruments. And if you select one of these instruments, this specific instrument was going to take the lead in the soundtrack and shape the music in a specific direction, typical for the character of the corresponding instrument. I mean, adaptive music for me is the music that adapts and changes according to the way you prefer to approach the game. If you take a sinister, evil decision, adaptive music is the one that follows the mood and changes according to the way you approach the game, according to the decision that you are taking. If you are a noble guy or rather humble one, the music should change accordingly and support your way of, of approaching the game, your type of decisions, if you know what I mean. If you would like to sneak, as I said, in the shadows, adaptive music is the one that follows this very decision of yours, remains calm, ominous, sneaky, with a pinch of darkness on the top of it, and vice versa. If you would like to jump into a killing spree, the music again should support this decision of yours and adapt correspondingly. I said from, right from the start that this is what we are known for. I mean, we at Larian, uh, we are known for pushing, you know, the innovations forward. And every every time somebody from inside the family, from inside the company, come up, comes up with an interesting and new, innovative idea, it's always warmly welcomed. I mean, it's it's a tradition. It's who we are. So whenever. Uh, that's, that's one of the things that makes me very, very happy and very proud to be part of this team. Because anytime you have a really interesting, brave and innovative idea, there's always people to warmly welcome it. And that was precisely the case. I have a very clear memory for the moment. I was talking with the guys, I was talking with Sven, and the moment I played a couple of 
tunes in an interactive way to present them the idea. Every, everybody was loving it and I said, yeah, let's do it, let's go for it, do it. changed everything <laughs> yeah it was no not so young industry but uh, <clears throat> back then in time the first thing that comes to my mind is that there, were, that there was no adaptive there was no interactive music the music at that time maybe 15 16 years ago it was just a background playing like a jukebox more or less and um, we were supposed to compose beautiful atmospheric music and pretty much that was it. Over the course of the past 15 years, so much happened and now the music feels like organic creature, if you know what I mean. It adapts, it changes, it reacts to your actions, to your decisions, to the way you prefer to approach the game. This is huge. And if uh, you ask me back then in time what I, what, what I think about all this, I wouldn't be so brave to imagine that we, we would go in, in this direction and we would achieve so much today talking about adaptive music in video games in the, in the way we, we did today, for example. Wise? For me, this is the tool that gives me all the freedom in the world that I need to design and implement the adaptive music system in our games. Or to put it in a different way, the only limit that I have when I work with WISE is my imagination. <laughs> it's a really powerful tool. Again, I'm not a salesman from <laughs> Audio Kinetic. <laughs> I'm the composer of Larian Studios. But I really like, I really love all the tools and all the freedom that WISE is giving in the hands of the game audio professionals. We haven't explored adaptive music based not only on the traditional rules of music theory. There are so many different ways and directions we can head for. And to answer your question, we have just started. Again, we are cooking some real cool things at Larian Studios. And as much as I'd like and I'd love to give you hints, I would rather <laughs> remain silent for now, but stay tuned and I promise you, you won't be disappointed.